Six My School investigation is getting attention in Lansing. We showed you how even though Detroit Public Schools is facing disaster set to go bankrupt in April, that's if the state doesn't act. Well, its top officials are still living large. Seven Action News reporter Kim Russell is live at a school on Detroit's west side right now. And Kim, who's speaking out at this point? Since our story aired last night, I've heard from teachers, parents and students. Plus, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle in Lansing, they say money needs to be put into schools, not into the pockets of top executives. It started with a special Fix My School investigation. We looked at the pay of top officials in Detroit Public Schools, a district with about 46,000 students. We found DPS execs make close to or more than execs in districts much larger. When you look at the size of the district, it's got almost 46,000 students. It's right around 90th in the nation. But when you look at the pay of your administration and your top officials, they're some of the highest in the country. How do you justify that? Well, I haven't seen that, first of all. So, you know, if you say that, I haven't seen your research, so I'm not trying to justify or not justify anything. This is some of it. I can let you review it. While DPS emergency manager Darnell Early was not interested in seeing my research, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are. It's really a slap in the face at democracy and the people of Michigan that was expecting uh, this emergency manager to bring the finances of Detroit Public Schools uh, in alignment. He has done nothing uh, like that. Detroit Democratic Representative Sherry Gay Dagnogo says it's evidence a forensic audit needs to be done before the state gives DPS money to avoid bankruptcy. Make sure that the kids are our first priority and, and we don't have a lot of time. And Republican Senator Patrick Colbeck says while he supports local control whenever possible, there is already talk in Lansing that if lawmakers are going to approve money for Detroit Public Schools to help it avoid bankruptcy, there needs to be oversight. Parents and students in schools that are neglected and falling apart see this top pay given to top officials as evidence district leaders don't share their priorities. I'm shocked based on the way the schools are looking, shocked. I also talked to emergency manager Darnell Early about his claim that he has cut the size of his administration, but do the numbers add up? We'll take a look at that ahead on 7 Action News at 6. Live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, we look forward to your report coming up at 6. Thank you much.